Hello to all my followers and subscribers. Dobranots, dobro horangku. Assalamualaikum. Kesahe sangdaye. Sukam tane. Magandang araw sa lahat. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I'm going to make AutoCAD easy and a handy tool for you. To begin with, let's open the AutoCAD software. Uh, by default, the original or the original settings of AutoCAD, we can see this uh, little horizontal and vertical lines here. These are called grid lines. If you don't want to see it, just press F7 or the grid lines on and off. All complex drawings begin with a single line. There are two most common type of straight line in AutoCAD. We have the line and the polyline. To create a line, you can either click this uh, line toolbar right here on the upper left portion of your ribbon or simply type L, enter, or the space bar on your, on your keyboard. Then, there is this command line here where it always prompts you on what you're going to do next. So I suggest for you to look at this portion more often, especially if you are a new user. So here at this point, <clears throat> it is asking for your first point. For now, click anywhere on the screen. So this is your first point. Again on the command line, you can see that it is asking for your next point. Click point anywhere on the screen. So this is your line. Pick lines and so on. And uh, press space bar or enter to terminate the command. To create a line with a specific length, type L, enter or space bar. Specify first point, and this time press F8 or the ortho on and off. This will restrict your movement into vertical and horizontal lines only. If you want your line to go on this direction, put your mouse here and type the desired amount. This time let's say 1000. So this time I will go down, it's up to you whether you go up or down, just put your mouse here and type the desired amount, let's say another 1000. Here, let's say 2000. And on the command line, there is another options like close and undo. And you see... You notice that there is one letter which has a different color. It means this is the shortcut and you can type this shortcut even if you're still inside the line command. For this time, let's type C for close. C for close. See what happened? Your line automatically close the figure. Another straight line is the polyline. You can do this by clicking this polyline toolbar right next to line or simply type PL on your keyboard and press the space bar to enter, execute the command. But before we do that, we have to make sure that the command line is ready to accept a new command. You can tell if it is ready if you see this star cancel star in the command line. But if you don't have it, just press escape several times. So now, we are ready for a new command. So going back to polyline, type PL, enter, or spacebar to execute the command. Again on the command line, specify start point. Pick anywhere. So same thing as line, if you press F8, you are restricting your movement into horizontal and vertical lines only. So if you want to go to this direction, Put your mouse here and type your desired amount. Let's say 1000. Enter. Again, 1000. Enter. Here, 2000. Enter. And there is an option close or C. Type C to close the figure.
What is the difference between a line and a polyline? If you pick the line, you can see that it is separate from the other lines. But if you pick the polyline, you can see th that it is a single entity, meaning it is connected to the other lines. So, lines are multiple entities. They are separated from each other, but the polylines are single entity. Another useful difference is the editing properties. If you type ch on the command line, there will be a small box that will appear on the screen. This is called the properties palette and whatever object you select, the properties of that object will be displayed on this box. This time, let us select the polyline. Polyline. You can see under the geometry, there is a property called global width. And if you try to give some value, let's say 3200, you will notice that the thickness of your polyline will change into 200. Something you can never do on the line because it doesn't have a global width. Another thing is the area or the space in any bounded objects. If you pick the polyline, the area will display. Something you cannot do on the line, even if it is in close, it doesn't have an area. Another notable difference that we can think of is the options within the command. If you type L, enter, pick a start point, you will notice that there is another option aside from giving the next point. Here, we have the undo option. Try to do this on polyline. PL, enter, pick a start point. You will notice that aside from giving the next point, you still have more options. And if you have only undo options online, here in the polyline, we have many options. Arc, half width, length, undo, and width. This time, let's try the width option. And to do that, notice that each of the option has a, has a letter with a different color. It means that it is the letter you need for that particular option and you need to type that letter in the command line even though you're still inside the polyline command. So let's try to hit W on your keyboard for width and press enter or space bar. Specify starting width. Let's put some value, let's say 200. Specify ending width. It is already 200, so let's keep it that way. Just press enter. You will notice that you, the thickness of your polyline will change. Pick points. Let's try A for arc. A. See what will happen. And if you don't, if you want to go back to line, just type L for line. This time, let's change the width of your polyline. Type W, enter, starting width, let's say 1000, enter, ending width, let's say 0. This is what will happen. Enter to terminate the command. Again, polylines, these are all single entity, something you cannot do on the line command.